Wow, these are some pretty big pieces of glass. How did they manage to make them into such interesting shapes? To create this sculpture, Lebinsky and Brichtova used a process we call kiln casting. In kiln casting, a mold, usually made of plaster and silica, is placed inside of a kiln and chunks of glass, in this case clear glass, are placed inside the mold. The kiln is closed and heated to a temperature of nearly 2,000 degrees. And over a period of time, the chunks soften and fuse to each other, and from gravity, they're pushed downward to completely fill the mold. I wonder how they got all the curves in the glass so smooth. The surfaces are all cold worked. Hand grinding machines were used to cut away glass and finally to polish the glass. As the grinding and polishing took place, it was essential to keep the work wet and cold. If the work is allowed to become hot, cracks will develop and the work will be destroyed. From far away, it looks like the meteor, the flower, and the bird are each made out of one big block of glass. But walk around and take a closer look and you'll see how many different pieces of glass were used to create the sculptures. How many molds do you think the artists needed?